Hey there. So today I want to talk to you about a very common issue that uh, I know it's something that I uh, deal with on a regular basis and I'm willing to bet all of you do as well, which is as follows. Having information coming from lots of different places that we sometimes need to link into Salesforce. What do I mean? I'm willing to bet that some of you have notebooks that look something like this, filled with lots of handwritten notes. Aside from the doodles, notes that you're having from in-person meetings, maybe even post-it notes. Uh, maybe you have a stack of business cards sitting somewhere uh, of people that maybe you've met at different networking events, trade shows, etc. that you, you don't know if you will ever necessarily follow up with them. So we're not even talking about actually typing in their information and turning them into a lead or a contact in Salesforce. You might have lots of emails that have stars or filters or tags, or maybe they were put into different folders because you need you might need to reference them at some point in the future. I'm willing to bet that you also have PDFs, PowerPoints, Excel spreadsheets, Microsoft Word documents that you reference from time to time uh, that you need to access for various reasons as, as a resource of some kind. Perhaps even websites, blog articles, news articles that you need to reference from time to time. And getting all of those organized in some easy way so that you can quickly get access to all of them is a challenge that most of us are faced with. I will tell you that for the past several years, I honestly don't even remember how long, it sort of feels like forever, I have been using a tool called Evernote to keep track of all of this stuff, all of the stuff that I refer to as unstructured data. So again, what am I talking about as far as unstructured data? Um, it could be emails, it could be handwritten notes, it could be photos, photos of products, photos of people, photos of offices, photos of events. Um, it could be snapshots of documents, uh, business cards, other documents that I receive from other people, process maps uh, that I've received from other people, blog articles that I want to reference, LinkedIn profiles, company profiles or uh, person profiles from LinkedIn, um, blog articles of new features that are coming out uh, related to Salesforce or common issues that and how to solve for them that I need to organize on a regular basis. So I use Evernote in order to organize, to track all of this stuff. If you're not familiar with Evernote, Evernote is essentially a cloud-based tool to uh, store and organize all of your notes. With each note, you can also add in any type of commentary. You can also add tags. You can take notes and you can organize your notes into notebooks. You can organize your notebooks into binders. You can also then share different notebooks with different with other people. So you can have some notebooks that are private, other notebooks that are shared with others, whether they are internal to your organization or external uh, to your organization. There are many reasons why I love Evernote. Evernote, by the way, is um, it's a desktop app for PCs and for Macs. There's also an Evernote web uh, mobile app. There's also the Evernote website. So if you don't have any app whatsoever, you can simply go to the Evernote website, log in with your credentials, and you will have access to see all of your notes, all of your notebooks, all of your binders. Um, one of the many, many cool features that I love about Evernote is the fact that Evernote does character recognition on any photo of any kind. So it could be uh, hand, the handwritten notes that I was talking about earlier. So long as my penmanship is somewhat leg legible, I can, if I happen to scribble the word yellow in my handwritten notes, and then I snap a photo of that note, and put it into Evernote, I can then search for the word yellow and my note will come up. If I take a picture of a product and the word yellow is written anywhere on that product, so on a book cover, or I'm taking a photo of a product in the supermarket and I'm taking, um, in the photo I snap all of the ingredients are captured within that photo. If the word yellow appears in any ingredient, it will then be readable through Evernote. So I can simply search all of Evernote just for the word yellow and those photos will come up. To me that's pretty darn cool. That's a game changer. 
in, in many ways. So very often, I'm a little bit old school, very often when I'm in a face-to-face in-person meeting, I will in fact take out my notebooks and I will start by hand taking actual notes. And at the end of the meeting, what I do is I take out my mobile phone, I open up the Evernote app, I snap a photo of the handwritten note that I just wrote. I will uh, typically put it into a particular uh, notebook based on the client, the project, something related to whatever it is that the the note was about. Uh, I will also use the native dictation feature on the mobile app in order to dictate any additional commentary that I want to capture. Uh, Maybe it's some form of keywords or other narrative background. So I I might add something like uh, this was These are my handwritten notes from the meeting on December the 14th, 2017 in 123 Main Street, New York, New York, with John Smith from Acme Corp regarding the blah, blah, blah project. Um, That's what I'll do all on my mobile device. And as soon as I hit save, that's it. It gets uploaded into Evernote. uh, And all of my handwritten words will, in fact, be searchable. One of the other really cool things that I love about Evernote is its integration with Salesforce. And I can honestly tell you that the first time I heard anyone suggest integrating Evernote with Salesforce, um, my jaw dropped. I thought it was a little odd. Uh, Like, why would you even consider doing that? Evernote, by its definition, is unstructured data. Basically, you could throw anything in there. I could I could throw video recordings, audio recordings, PowerPoints, I mean, anything, all in the same one note, let alone they could be in separate notes. Um, Salesforce, like any other database, is very structured. You have fields, and the fields have to have certain types, and you have character limits even on text fields. So how and why would you ever want to combine the two? And I've realized that there is tremendous value in combining the two. For example, if I'm working with any prospect uh, or customer, I'll do a little bit of research on them online. I'll do research regarding the company, regarding the industry that they're in. And if I find a particular interesting article, whether it's a blog article, a news article, maybe a LinkedIn profile for the company or the person, I will use the Evernote extension on my Chrome browser in order to save that article directly in Evernote. So I don't have to leave the browser in order to save it in Evernote, choose exactly what notebook it should go into, I can apply the appropriate tags, and then when I'm in Salesforce, I can A, I can search my entire Evernote collection to find any and all notes that I have matching whatever search criteria I select, and then I can manually link by just clicking on the note, I can manually link those notes that are relevant to that particular Salesforce record that I'm looking on directly in Salesforce, which means if I or anyone else on my team has access to see that particular Salesforce record and that particular Evernote note, they will see the two right there. So if someone on my team is looking at my handwritten notes with John Smith from Acme Corp, I'm sorry, if they're looking at the John Smith record in Salesforce, they will in fact have access to see the handwritten notes from my in-person meeting with John Smith from that particular meeting because it will be linked in Evernote, in Salesforce. Those uh, records will be linked. The Evernote note will be linked to the appropriate Salesforce record. To me, this is really cool stuff, uh, which is why I thought it was worth sharing with you guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add to this recording, I'm going to add a link in the notes so that you can see a YouTube video created by Evernote showing a little bit more, giving a demonstration of how the Evernote and Salesforce integration works. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback if you've used Evernote or if you've played around with Evernote. I'd love to hear your, your feedback on how you use it. I'd love to learn some best practices from you guys. Otherwise, have an amazing day. Bye bye now.